Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in conversion rate optimization, we will discuss about a very important topic and that topic is basically called as the first critical half a minute. The half a minute that the user or a visitor, an anonymous visitor spends on your website, on a landing page or through an email is the most crucial and critical first half a minute. That is actually decides whether your conversion is working or not because the users do not give much of a time that they spend either on a website or a landing page or through emails or whatever the online asset that you are promoting to actually improve your conversion rate. Let us discuss what is that all about. What is the first half minute? The first half minute that is actually the 30 seconds or 45 seconds at the most the user spends on a website when they actually come to the website or on the landing page or a squeeze page or a sales page that you are promoting. That half a minute actually decides whether the visitor, the anonymous visitor is engaging with your website or a landing page or not. 55% of the visitors spend less than 50 seconds on a website and this is actually a well researched analytical information. 55% of the visitors spend less than 15 seconds. The moment they come to your website through organic results or through paid advertising or through social media links, the 55% of the spend is less than 15 seconds and in that 15 seconds is what you have to grab the attention of your visitor of the traffic that is coming to your website or landing page. On an average visitors give themselves only a minute or less. On an average in general a minute or less max it is minute and in that minute it is what you have got to grab the attention with of the visitors. The first half a minute is crucial to grab the attention. It is that half a minute. It is that 45 seconds. It is less than one minute. What makes the difference in, in doing a good business, in doing an ordinary business, in improving the conversion rate of your websites and landing pages. It is this grabbing attention of this critical half a minute. It is this grabbing of the visitor's attention. It is this grabbing of the visitor's attention towards your landing page, towards your website, towards your email campaigns is what makes the difference in improving your conversion rate optimization. And this half a minute is extremely important and crucial. You need to ensure that you know you grab the attention within this half a minute. How to grab the attention? That is actually a million dollar question now. Now we know we need to grab the attention within that half a minute. But how do we actually do that in the first place? Identify your target customers. You need to identify the first and foremost important when you do the objective analysis of your website, of your landing pages, you do the thorough testing and you actually know your products or services solution that you are selling. You need to identify your target customer, where they are located in terms of geography, in terms of location, in terms of gender, in terms of the age group and these are actually the key points that you need to ensure that you identify identify your target customer. Research on them. The more you do research, the better. Research on the competitors websites, research on competitors landing pages, research what the customer behavior is on so and so pages and make sure that you know you have the complete data on your customers, targeted customers. Create a compelling copy with the following key ingredients. The key ingredients of a compelling copy, the content that flows on your website on a landing page is the most important. And what are the key ingredients? Captivating headline. You have remember only 30 seconds. You have max about 45 to 50 seconds. And you need to capture the imagination of the anonymous visitor who is visiting your landing page or website. And to do that you need to have a captivating headline that captures the imaginations of the anonymous visitor. Make sure that you have a captivating and compelling headline. Write a story centered around your customer's objectives. The story that you write, story not in the sense that it is actually a story, the story you write as far as your products, your services, your solutions, whichever you are promoting through a website, a landing page is centered around the customer's needs. 
what actually the customer is actually looking at and you know this when you have the targeted customer database and the content that flows on your landing page or website has to be sent out around the objectives of your customer why the customer has come why the potential customer has come to your website or landing page and what they are looking into what doesn't work what basically doesn't work and on, 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 on as far as the, the landing pages are concerned and grabbing the attention is concerned is I just wanted to give an example what actually doesn't work. Let's take in two scenarios of these two lines. Our software is used by thousands of companies. This is the line perhaps you might have written on a landing page or on a website. And the most important thing that you need to remember is just check out this line. Our software is used by thousands of companies. This is a good line. What they are basically saying is your software is being used by thousands of companies. Now let's look at the other scenario. The same line can be written in a much better way. 4,786 companies are using our software and growing business. This is what makes a good copywriting and a bad copywriting. This is what makes attention, grabs the attention of the anonymous visitor. You are specific, you are the, to the point and you are clearly mentioning that this many number of, the number has been identified, this many number of customers are using your software and growing your business. You are ending the line with showing profit to the visitors, showing profit to the traffic that is coming to your website and this is what makes what works and what doesn't work. What works is you are identifying the number, the total number of companies who are using your software and you are also saying that you are growing your business and this is actually the first line that doesn't work is just a generic line. Our software is used by thousands of companies. It may not hit it, it may not connect with me emotionally as far as if I am actually a visitor who is coming to your website. If you are pinpointing accurately 4,786 companies are using our software and growing our business that connects, that grabs the attention and that is actually what makes a good copywriting and bad copywriting and that is what actually is grabbing headlines, grabbing attention of the visitors and the traffic that is coming to your website is constant and these are some of the key points that you need to ensure you use them to grab the attention within that half a minute that you have got. You only have 30 seconds. Now what are those 30 seconds? What you can do within the 30 seconds, express lucidly, clearly and convincingly. Whatever the point that you wanted to convey to your visitors, the traffic that is coming to your website, that has to be clear, concise, precise, lucid, clearly and convincingly about the product that you are selling or the solution that you are selling or a service that you are selling. That has to be expressed, written convincingly. Write not for creative but to make sense. More often than not, most of the copywriting that we have seen, copywriters we have seen, they indulge in more of a creativity. Creativity is fine, that works, but the focus of the writing has to be towards making sales. At the end of the day, that is what matters. Creativity is fine, but the focus has to be to make sales. The writing should be oriented towards making sales. Find the wants and offer a solution. When you do the customer research, when you do the analysis of the, what the customer wants, find out what are the wants of your customers and offer a solution that is centered around the wants of a customer. Master the art of storytelling and write a story. Master the art of story. You actually write a content on a website or a landing page. Make sure that the, the entire content flows at like a story and convey a story related to your product services and solutions. Avoid passive voice and write in present tense. Do not write in passive voice. That doesn't work. Write in active voice. For example, if you want to say we have been uh, nominated for a particular award. You can also say the same line, we are actually going to get an award. That is actually a better way of saying it. Let the reader visualize, create a visualization scenario for the visit visitor. Let's say that if you want to are selling a particular software, what you can say is that, you know, visualize, imagine growing your business using our software, increasing productivity and increasing efficiency that is actually what visualization is important you let the user let the visitor analyze and visualize what actually helps him how it actually helps him when they use your products 
create an impending deadline. The, the one of the techniques that copywriters and good writers actually do is they create an impending deadline. Let's say only a week left, only five days are left when the product goes off the line. Make sure that you buy this product within 24 hours or within 72 hours. That deadline actually generates some curiosity and hastens the action of your visitor. Create urgency. The more you create an urgency, the better the sale, the better the conversions. Create an urgency, create deadlines and make sure that you know this actually works in your conversion rate optimization because you have got only 30 seconds to capture the imagination and do the conversions. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is the first half a minute? how to grab the attention within that half a minute and you have got only 30 seconds to grab the attention, make the conversions and grow your business. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.